Hi, in this video I'll be talking about how to create the RTD in the Spark and this is really an important question when you are going for any Spark interview or Hadoop interview. So most of the time the interviewer is expecting from you that you should have the understanding of how to create the RTD and what are all the different ways to create the RTD. So we will see these things in the practical way as well as the theoretical presentation. We can create the RDD by using the two methods. The first method is we can load the external file which is available on the HDFS or it can be available on the local um, local file system. So you can see over here this is the command val data equals to spark contest s is the object of the spark contest dot text file is the method and we are passing the argument of the location of file which is available on the hdfs or it can be available on the local file system so if you see here something like hdfs colon so basically it will go and search for the hdfs file system only but at this point we are going to take the example where the file will be available on local file system okay so basically the first thing is we can create the rtd by using the dot text file command and we need to pass the location of the file second thing is we can use the parallelize method by using the parallelize method also we can create the rdd and what is the difference between these two uh, things let us say that we know the uh, we have the data and we need to pass that data along with the argument itself so less amount of data is there like from 1 to 10 we have mentioned here here so that data will be the part of this rdd only here the rdd will be created so i am creating one array which is storing the data from 1 to 10 number and all those data will be the part of number very uh, number and we are passing this number over here so because of that only what is happening it is creating the rdd no data with the parallel op parallel option so if someone is asking you in the interview that what are all the ways to create the rdd you can say that we can create the rdd by using the two method the first one is we will pass the path of the text file or any file which can be available on the HDFS by using the method text file. And the second thing is we can create the RDD by using the parallelize method. So we are going to see these things in a practical way. So first of all, I will just open the Spark shell and then one by one we are going to create the RDD. So first of all, we need to create the data.txt file, which can be available on any location. So at this point, I will just create the data.txt on desktop. And here we are putting some data. This is, is this is is data for rdd and i'm just saving it let us take the path properties and from here we can get the path and we need to mention the path over here like this okay so the first part is done and let us now try to fire the query well data equals to spark contest dot text file okay so before that i will just show you one thing yes see the object is already created by the spark itself and it is the object of spark context so i am going to use this spark context object only and one more thing which we need to check since it is not understanding this uh, slash we need to make it 
on the windows platform like this we need to use the forward black backslash forward slash and now here you can see it is loading all the data which is available on the data.txt to the rdd data and if you check the type of the data you can see this is a rdd has been created now if you want to cross check the data you can do like this data dot collect here you can see the data this is the test data for rdd and and it, it has loaded the data from the array from the text file itself so this is the first method where you can pass the external file it can be a file which is based on the hfs or it can be available on the local file system and second way is we can create the rdd by using the parallelize method so first of all i will create one array and i will pass this array to the parallelize method so the array is created and now i am going to pass this array here you can see the number i have passed to the parallelize method even you can just directly take this and paste it over here that's not that there will not be any problem okay so here you can see no data rdd has been created and just to cross check no data dot collect and we got the output saying the rdd is storing the data from 1 to 10 so this is how we can create the rdd by using the parallelize method thank you